Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're gonna go out and do a little bit of wood cutting today. Um, it's not really what we had originally planned. We were gonna go up north next week, so I was uh, hoping to get a bunch of stuff packed up, but looks like we're gonna cancel that trip. Um, mainly because of the coronavirus thing going around. We didn't want to travel, you know, five hours away with kids and stuff and have something happen. So we decided to stay home and uh, we're gonna cut wood today. I don't know if it's muddy back to the woods. Um, so we're gonna take this back there. Got our gas and got our helmets and all that kind of stuff. I even got the cant hook. If you guys have never used one of these, that's probably one of the best wood cutting tools you can get. Uh, super helpful to roll over giant logs and stuff. So probably show you how that works. Um, yeah, so we don't know how muddy it is. We're gonna take this back to get started and then if it's not too bad we'll go back up and get the tractor and trailer so there put her in low they had some tiling down out here I'm stuck. I thought I'd be able to get over that. I guess I'll go around. Huh. I guess we're not going this way. Cut that tree out real quick. This is an easy start metal. We made her out here. Uh, we're probably going to be cutting mainly ash today. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of trees down. It's pretty much all dead ash out here. So, burns good. So, doesn't hurt my feelings that it's all dead. We can uh, burn it in our house for heat. So, I'm going to do a little first person cutting today. I'll have you guys strapped to my chest and you can. Watch me cut. Boy, talk about social distancing. This is the best way to, to get out here and get away from people. Out here getting exercise and getting heat for our house. And I'm not getting sick. Perfect. I got you in super view now, so we'll see how super view compares to wide in the GoPro. Perfect situation. Tree 
fell over, but it's not totally on the ground. So I can cut it up without getting a dirty tree. This tree is caught way up there in the top of that one. I'm gonna cut the bottom off here and see if I can get it to fall. Take this poison ivy. I tip it over now. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe not. Maybe I can pick the bottom up. Just about. Ooh. Got her. All right. Now we're going to try to cut this one down. So it's on the ground, easier to cut up. This easy to start, it's pretty cool. More poison ivy. so much ash out here we'll never be able to cut it all before it rots uh -huh. 
Well, that part was successful, but now I gotta get this done. My wife can cut that up. She's down. She's a heck of a good woman. Back to this one. Mark just comes right off. Which is okay with me because I think that's poison ivy on it. Makes for less mess later. We got quite a bit cut. We'll have to come out another time and pick it up, but we got probably I'm going to say three trailer loads. We might come out tomorrow morning and pick some up, but today was a pretty good day of cutting. Good weather. No wind. While we were cutting, I saw a pretty cool piece. Um, there was a spot where there was two branches that split. Uh, so you can see like the center of some rings here and center of some rings here. And it's kind of a neat shape, so I cut two discs out of it. And I'm going to run it through my router sled and make a couple of uh, like trivets or you know the hot pads you know to put a hot pan on or something so I'll run it through my router sled and it'll give it a real nice smooth uh, surface and then I'll put a, a coat of oil uh, like mineral oil on it as a finish so if you guys want to see that uh, keep an eye out for a future video well that's gonna be about it for this video uh, if you like that uh, first person view of running the chainsaw let me know by either leaving a comment or hitting that like button uh, we're going to pick up the wood tomorrow, but I probably won't include that in the video because that's not quite as exciting as running the chainsaw. So, uh, yep, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Got a little bonus footage for those of you that stayed till the end of the video. Did you really think I was going to start this tractor without filming it? Um, this is a true cold start. Uh, I don't think this tractor has been started in probably a month and it's below freezing. I think it's like 28 degrees out this morning. Um, the last time I started it was the last the last time I uploaded the video of starting it with the crank. So it's been a while. So uh, thanks for sticking around. You get to see a cold start. This is the first crank of the day. Not as easy as last time. Ooh, that was close. Probably this next crank. Nope. Oh boy, now it's gonna give me problems. Uh oh, what I do? I told you it was 
cold.